Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 60 and the finale of House 3 of the Drifter Challenge. And if you are returning, welcome back. And at the end of the last part, I started charity in writing an excuse note for Dominique, and I was thinking about it, and I think I'm going to write an excuse note for Dora also. May as well keep them both home on their last day before they age up to young adults. Mainly because I think they normally come home in those mood swings when from school versus just generally having them randomly happen. I don't know if that's absolutely the way it happens all the time, but I think I seem to recall that's what I have happened in my game. So I'm just trying to avoid, hopefully, any m massive mood swings that I have to worry about right before they're about to age up. Because of course, you know, the hysterical, the mortified, and the en en enraged are the three that can kill them. And if they're in those moods when they age up to a young adult, they can die right away. I have not had them that happen for me yet because I usually make sure they're not in those <laughs> moods before they age up. But I have heard of people having that happen. So finally, when she finishes her notes, hopefully she gets that done before 8 a.m. Because, of course, Dominique was the more important one since she is my heir. She can finally have her shower that she's been wanting to have. I've been trying to get her to do for quite a long time. So if you can speed that up there, Charity, that would be really good. I thought I had you fill the cat food bowl. Maybe I just did the individual one. Maybe it got canceled. Maybe I thought of it. Maybe I'm getting confused with when we went to the gym. I don't know. We need you to fill it now, please. So now you can have your brisk shower. And then we may as well come and supercell everything here. There we go. And hopefully someone, the, the gardener will look after everything. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. But I'm trying to, I don't want to have a whole bunch of things on the lot. I'm just going to say sell money fruit. I'm supposed to sell all. Do I do find sell all will go around and selling everything on the lot as opposed to supercell only does a certain radius and then you have to go supercell the other things so does that did that work yay dora is home she is also very playful from having a bubble bath and she is hungry so hopefully she's going to have something to eat dominique you know charity sorry <laughs> i'm gonna have you actually make that cake that i we still need one more cake because we have one more child to, we have three sims we're aging up today we are going to age up, uh, I think it's Dirk that ages up. Let's take a look at his timeline. He has zero days left, yes. So Dirk ages up to a teen. So we're going to have a Sim being aged to a teen and to being aged to young adults in this part later on. So she is busy. She didn't get very much, I don't think. Is there more stuff that's been done? I don't know where she got. No, there's still some things over here. Do you have a forbidden fruit of the plant sim in your inventory? Because that is one thing that we're going to pass down to Dominique. That's the only thing that we're going to pass. Did I already put that in Dominique's? I did. So she already has that. And I'm actually going to sell these things right away. Oh, I shouldn't sell it from her inventory. It just occurred to me because that's going to give her money. <laughs> Um, for, you know, towards the fortune goal, which she should probably try and get on her own, not from her mom. Not from things she got in this house. I'm going to let her keep her, her journal. So she'll have to pay for that, too. Not that she's ever used it. <laughs> but I just like the idea of it. <laughs> We're going to take this out of her inventory. We'll put that in the garbage. So those, that's all she's going to get to keep in her inventory. So they can do their own thing for a bit. Dominique is awake and she is using that, which is useful because she does need logic for her, um, her scientist, for being a scientist, you need to be, have a lot of logic. And then I think maybe we'll do a little bit more painting with her after, let's, let's add these candles, add birthday candles. And then we are going to, 
oh, we need to make some actual food. We have no food in the house. Let's make some food. <laughs> I guess everybody's eating it and I haven't really been paying attention. Why don't we make some... I'm going to make something quick, to be honest. I find the garlic noodles are actually very, very quick to make. There we go. And while we're at it, I will throw the empty dishes out. You can always make something during the party, too, because it's not going to be... Because I really would like to spend a little bit of time working on... Is this another call? Dean and another student. Hmm. Uh, we'll just do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways. So, are you still in there? No, you're not. So what I want to do is I want to do a... group. And I'm going to let Dora be... Maybe not. I don't know that you can have three. We'll, we'll try this as an experiment. If it doesn't work, then Dora will be coming out of the group. <laughs> so we're going to continue the mural together. So now does she go over on her own or does it wait? Yeah, I don't think it'll trigger until she actually goes there after she finishes making that food. And speaking of while she's working, oh, Abraham had to go to work. So we're going to open and put this into our inventory because we need some food in there. And they are all working on it. Yay, they're having some nice mom and uh, <laughs> daughter time. I'm just going to sell a lot of this stuff while we're doing this because we I don't really want to leave with like the this house full of things in their inventory because like, I think I've heard it can cause things to be leggy later on and we don't need to take that call we don't want to be made playful thank you very much because as soon as this ends then we're going to go on to oh there we go Dirk's party notification we should be getting a notification for all of them got one for so Dora's level 5 Dirk I don't know that I got the notification, but I know that they are on their birthday. Because it shows up on the calendar here as it's being the birthday for all of them. So very obviously there. And this is nothing. It's just a starlight, a starlight accolade. Rebate day. So we need to have... <laughs> um, Dominique needs to have uh, some money by Monday so that she can get a rebate when she's doing some stuff because that would be helpful for her. I'm just going to get those out. Oh, that's what someone said. That's what I should have been doing. I wasn't even thinking. I had a suggestion to get a... I totally forgot. Under kids activities, the rocket... I only thought of it because we I was selling all those things and then because I was selling all those things it occurred to me that I should have been doing this here I'm just gonna get that out of my way because we can just do it right here we could go work on it outside but we'll just do it here so instead what I want to do is I want to oh she can't start it I was hoping that I could you know, have them work on it together, but all she can do is put it in her inventory. She can't actually start it. We're going to see whether we can encourage her to work on that. Parenting, influence to work on school project. Let me make sure there's nothing outside. Yeah, we're going to sell that. We'll put that in her inventory. <laughs> Because she might go working on that because that's hers. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see whether we can do this. And then I'll go back to selling <laughs> all this stuff in her inventory. Or most of the stuff in her inventory. Oh, she's got some paintings. We'll just sell them. I think they were from when we went to the park and they were doing some paintings over there. I'll keep a few things in her inventory. I'll try and sell the more valuable stuff bulkier stuff 810 so is she working on that okay oh and we never really did go work we were concentrating on we'll go do an endurance run we'll see whether she stays and works on that but that is another way that she can work on her uh, rockets science skill is just buy one of these and work on it on her own 
when she gets her own house. So she, she stopped. So now that she started... No, we, did you even start? It doesn't look like you started. That's the noise, us. Oh, I hope this doesn't that? mess up anything. Okay. Oh, no, they will. Oh, here we go. Emotional control. And that won't matter because she doesn't already have her emotional control. So we're going to do, it's fine, don't overreact. Cause she doesn't have that in range anyways. So we're okay. <laughs> we had some luck. So she just acquired the rocket science skill. So what I could have done instead of that, since I thought I would see if that worked, and if I had time, is I could put this stuff in our inventory and buy a rocket ship and have them start working on a rocket ship. But really, there's not... If I had been thinking, I might have done that. But the rocket skill is something she ne needs to learn, but the painting will help her earlier on. So can we encourage her to just... Um, parenting well we can encourage working on the school project not that that matters because her responsibility is already maxed influence to well, we can actually we can influence her to fish that's interesting i uh and i don't think there's anything to do for the garden but you can't actually influence her to do any painting interesting i wonder if i took this painting that was done by Abraham. <laughs> I should sell these paintings. <laughs> now, can I influence her to paint? No, because I don't think the mural counts for that. Parenting, influence, skill ba building. No, well, maybe I missed it. Maybe it was on the first page. There we go. <laughs> there it is. There it is, right at the beginning. We'll just work on the painting, forget the, the rocket science skill. Because like I said, she can learn that later. And this way, Dominique, Charity can... Are you not? Okay, forget this. Since that didn't count, you're going to go tell your daughter those things. Oh, we got a raise? How did he get a raise? I don't even think he has his skills. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had a non-controlled sim get a bonus. <laughs> That's funny. I guess because he was, he was already at the top of his career, the fact that he didn't have the, the skills didn't matter. So, okay. So everybody is home. How is everybody's needs? She's a little bit hungry, but she can hopefully eat. You know what we're going to do is we're going to make some more food. We're going to cook another, um, we'll cook some pasta primavera. <laughs> and when she's done cooking that, I'm going to just keep selling stuff in her inventory just because, like, I'm trying to get rid of as much as I, you know, a lot of the stuff. I will be back when we're about to start our party. Well, I was just about to start the party. Oh, and I just noticed here Dirk is making a mess over there. So we're going to come over here and discipline not to make a mess. And then we are going to ask him to clean up his mess that he just made. And then I see that Dean is mortified. Good thing we're not aging him up. <laughs> I totally missed it. We're going to talk him through his mood swing. I don't seem to have any luck with these mood swings, I have to say. We'll see whether we have any more luck with him than we have with any of the other kids. Oh, he's going to hide. Well, hopefully that helps him a little bit. She's energized. That's okay. Did she have a nap? Fired up from socialization. Okay, so are you going over here? Is he is he talking to himself? Give yourself a pep top. Good kid. Good, good, good. Hopefully that works. Six hours still. Okay, now that we, he's done that, can we try again? We can encourage. No, we can talk through mood swing. Try that again. These stairs are in my way. There we go. I think we're going to have our... Here we go. 
Sheshire. And then can we try Kamenkapa him to ask him to redirect his and see if we have any more luck with him than we did with the others? No, it just keeps crossing it out. I wonder if that's Rinchu. a glitch. Or is Wetzel she actually doing it now? Us. We were Most encouraging to redirect his mood. Will this work? Oh. No, it doesn't seem to work. I kind of wonder if that's a glitch. <laughs> because, like I said, I know in the previous house, I remember... Charity being in an extreme mood and her mom was able to read, encourage her to redirect and she went for a jog. And if I remember correctly, oh, he doesn't have a book in his inventory, but the others did and it didn't make any difference. So and we have, I opened up all of the uh, produce, the, you know, the seed packets. So now I've got more things to sell from her inventory since, oh, I didn't open them all up. I thought I did, but look, I have like 33 of these. That was a mistake to stick them in her inventory. I think she's just going to be left with them because that just takes too much time. So I suggest if you have gnomes who give lots of seed packets, if you don't want to open them all up, put them in your household inventory because then they will, um, you can sell them <laughs> as opposed to having to open them and sell the fruit or vegetables or flowers or whatever it is. It's fine if you want to open them, but if you have like, like 33, that would be 3,300 simoleons and we don't really want to spend the time opening them all up. Unfortunately, it would be nice if they actually let you uh, do that. So let's take a look at most importantly, Dominique's needs. They're, they're okay, but if we actually had the party at the park like we've been doing we could do a rally the troops and then her needs would be even better so rung sims inventory why can't i drag oh someone must be she must be coming to eat something <laughs> i'm like why can't i drag that into our inventory <laughs> it's not working okay so we're gonna do i would like to do that but i think we probably should have our last party at the home so we're just gonna have the party here so we're gonna have a she never did get, she only level 8, she never maxed that, but oh well. I'm not going to have aging on for this house anyways. I might age up have her when her mom comes, age her up to an elder, just so that the prior, prior house is an elder. Because I don't have aging on for anyone but the current household. Because that's no longer a requirement with the uh, revised rules. So, and since I didn't usually, used to do it anyways, even when it was a requirement, <laughs> I'm definitely not doing it. So we will do a birthday party and the birthday sims are going to be Dora, Dirk, and Dominique. Our guests are going to be the family. And then I'll pick everyone else and I'll be back when the party is starting. Oop, I didn't mean I had it already going fast. Okay, you're eating kind of where the food, where the cakes need to go. And the main goal of ours is to to put out the blow out the candles I don't remember giving him this maybe I never looked at his clothes yeah I definitely don't remember that outfit <laughs> I have to say because I can't say that I probably would have put those together anyways he's still mortified how mortified is he three more hours maybe he'll be done by the time the party comes over so they can stay in the house after they age but I don't really um let's let's see everybody why don't we friendly ask about his day and how is her painting how much is it worth normal but as an impressionism painting and it's worth 206 so she might do all okay oh oh let's go look after why don't we get to know and give him a hug He's looking kind of sad. Give him a big treat. Someone's, someone's doing a loud stage right now. Oh, I know what we should do. We should probably age up Bridget to a teen. We'll be aging up a few people during this party. Okay, I guess I did tell you to talk to your uncle. So now you're going to come pay attention to poor little Dala. She looked kind of sad there. Are you actually going to do what I asked? You gonna give him a hug? Okay. A little glitchy, but yeah, we did it. So hopefully he'll be good. He's <laughs> big eyes. <laughs> there we go. And 
Okay, that was it. How about giving the big treat that I asked you to do? No wonder my cat pets run away. Because my sims don't do what I asked them to with their pets. No wonder. Hopefully he'll be happy now. There you go. There you go. So can we put this food here? And then we're going to grab a cake. We're going to age up our, our sims first. And then we will age up everyone else. So we will... There. And we can choose them. And one of the times we can control them. What is she doing? Playing incredible sports. Do you need some fun? Not really. <laughs> you can come blow out your candles. Come blow out your candles. Got lots of birthdays. Let's get these walls up. Which way are you going to go so I can be prepared? There we go. Got one picture at least now. There. Oh, she wasn't successful. Not a big surprise. <laughs> there we go. She aged up. I'm going to make her a bookworm. I normally have creative sims, so this is going to be a little bit different. So she's not going to actually like painting the way my sims normally do. So it's not going to be as easy for her to like make money painting to start with. But she won't be doing a lot of painting anyways because she's in the scientist career. So she'll be making money doing other things instead. So there we go. And can you come over here and add birthday candles? Since I did, I know I did make three cakes, but um, I, can't, I was going to almost have Dominique put them on. Oh, no, we can't. Is someone coming to eat it? Or someone in your way? So we have a lot of Sims to age up. There we go. So now it's your turn to age up. So you're going to come and blow out the candles. Was everybody upset <laughs> that we added the candles to it so no one can eat it? You can eat it next time. Since I have two other sims, I want to get to uh, age up in addition to the cakes I have. Let me get a picture. <laughs> Are you going to have any luck the first time? Are you going to age up right away? It looks like you did. Yay, you got it right away. So she is going to be outgoing, if I can find it. There it is. Because she had the friend of the world aspiration. So there we go. Yay, she's aged up. Can't say that's a favorite trait of mine because they uh, they need too much social. <laughs> Thank you very much. So maybe if no one's gonna eat this, we can try adding candles again and see if we have any luck. Okay, so now our last one that we have to age up is Dirk. So we're gonna have him come and blow out the candles. Pretty sure he's the one who's aging up. Yep, he's got the bubbles already. Need to get him aged up. ASAP. They're all standing around. Okay, let me get a picture. Nope, no luck the first time. And he decided, everybody's in my way, I'm gonna move and try and go over there. So he's a genius geek, just like his sister, but he has a curator aspiration. So there he goes. And that's how he aged up. You can't really see very well. <laughs> you don't look very happy. <laughs> I like being a child better than being a teen. Why did I have to age up? Now he looks a bit happier. Okay, so... Let me put the cake over here. Maybe someone can actually eat it. And we'll grab one of the cakes from the fridge that we have. We'll grab a honey cake. And then I am going to control Charity. And we are going to age up some Sims. We're going to age up probably good time for Bill and Bella. But we'll age up Bella 
first. Actually, no, Bill. I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, of course they're the same. But Bella would be older because she's the uh, she was the drifter. But they're both going to age up to <laughs> Elder at the same time. But really, I'm just going to age up some of the rest of you know some other Sims just so that they're older in the world. Bella is going to be an elder. <laughs> there we go. No luck with her either. But. I didn't like them as elders, to be honest, but it is what it is. I am going to leave this Let's Play here. We have. Why are you angry? Oh, probably from the loud music. At least you're just angry. <laughs> Someone's going through a loud stage. But that is going to be it for this part. As I mentioned in the last part, if anyone has any Sims, young adult, any Sims of any age in the scientist career, just put them in the scientist career, or any aliens, let me know down below. And also, when you put them on the gallery, use the hashtag h 4 Maple Simmer, and I'll have that go across so that I can go look for them to put them in my save because I will be starting and coming up on a Thursday will be Dominique's beginning of House 4 of the Drifter Challenge. But that is going to be it for House 3 of the Drifter Challenge. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.